Gulf Coast Motor Works on the west coast of Florida, not too far from Naples. And uh, I'm going to show you their very cool collection inside of here. I'll go outside too when I'm done. Here we go. The last of the uh, sort of 308, 328s. This is a $120,000 low mileage uh, Ferrari 328 GTS. You can tell actually it's different, slightly different wheels on it, believe it or not. And I think the earlier wheels on the 308 look better. But still, it's the greatest and best, certainly in terms of uh, mechanics, braking, and everything else. Speaking of the latest and last and greatest, here we have a Countach, the anniversary edition, 89, I believe, and it's all white. So that's pretty cool. Love the interior on this one. Very nice. With the... Uh, white even in the middle of the steering wheel it's awesome it's really good i think um there you go Dodge, because that's what the uh workers said when they saw the clay model ferrari enzo supercar named after uh enzo ferrari not to be confused with the uh f50 f50 had a wing kind of looked like a grown-up f40 but uh, a lot of great cars in here. Fly yellow Ferrari here. 2016 488 Spider. $360,000 in case you're wondering. Nice because all the cars have prices in here and you can just see uh, how much they are. 488, of course, that's a descendant of the 328. Mid mounted eight cylinder engine for Ferrari. There you go. The new ones are just as quick as the Enzo there. Very desirable uh, Ford GT from about 2005 here. Would you like to know what it's going for? Of course you would. Let's see if they got a price on this one. I've driven these actually, and the, it's kind of crazy. The, the stick shift is, uh, you think you're in third uh, first, but you're in third on these. It's a, it's a strange driving car if you're not used to it. Um, 2006 Ford GT, 420000 bucks. There you go. They've got a lot of McLarens lined up here. Show you those. If you want to know what your $650,000 will buy you, well, it's this 765 LT right here. Nice looking, almost, uh, it's hard to describe this color. It's, it's just a very interesting color. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and uh, tell me what you think of the color. It's a wild looking color. Tell me what you think of the quad exhausts. Very cool. All right. Moving on. Yeah. Yes, sir. Sixteen six seventy five LT. Only three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for this one. What a bargain. Very cool. Another one, 675 LT. Probably around the same cost. Let's see. Depends on mileage and things like that, of course. When the last service was, 339. Um, orange and black in that one. Funny, I don't like Alcantara. So this thing would actually give me the heebie-jeebies. Um, just don't like the feel of it. I prefer leather. Um, MB Tex that Mercedes puts in some of their older cars is a really interesting material. Feels like leather, but it just wears forever. You can find an old Mercedes, and we'll see a Mercedes over there peeking around the corner. I'll show you that in a second. But um, that stuff just lasts forever. It's amazing. The uh, STO Lamborghini here, that's really cool, actually. I talked to the owner in one of my videos on this one, and uh, he told me what he thought about owning it. He was a Porsche guy. And. Uh, there you go. 510,000, 2021 Lamborghini Huracan STO two-door coupe. Funny, you know, when you got a lot of money and you say, okay, I'm going to get this car. And well, you do. And then maybe uh, you get tired of it pretty quick and want something else. So uh, maybe it's too much. Maybe this is too stiff because this is a very performance-oriented vehicle. 
And hey, let's be honest, some people just want to be comfortable. And, uh, you know, this car's going to knock you around a little bit. But uh, this one is gorgeous. The right color. I wonder if it's a wrap. It's probably a wrap. But uh, get to that one in a second. Keep continuing on the, on the line here. And uh, show you this one. Yes, yes, yes. More uh, Alcantara black and orange theme continues. Want to see the engine? Of course you do. No quad exhausts on this one. Maybe not the LT. Let's see. Let's see what we got. It is a 675 LT. Only 278000 What a bargain. They've got them all uh, refreshing the battery, keeping them fresh, ready to start, ready to go, which is good. Nice to see that. 2019 570S Spider, 210000 More traditional leather in there. Black and red, and uh, I like it. Look at that. If you're wondering where that golf library comes from, well, it's right there. A lot of Porsches have that golf library on them. I'm a big Porsche fan, see? I'm showing my support today. Here's a new face. Nice to see you guys. Smash that like button for me. Search for uh, Driving Ivan in any car on YouTube to see uh, my full driving reviews and my car collection. What does Driving Ivan drive? It's a nice collection. Interesting stuff. Looky here, they have an MC20. You don't see one of these every day. Well, I do. Actually, I was driving my Maserati and I ran into one of these. It's kind of a cool picture, actually. Had to uh, sh uh, save the moment because it's just I'm just such a big fan of Maserati. I flew down to uh, to Florida uh, a year year or so ago, maybe two years two years ago, about. And uh, purchased my first Maserati, Maserati Spider, and drove it all the way up to the Amelia Island Concours. And uh, you know, there's there's just something about Maserati to me. Uh, 1926 is when Maserati started out, and uh, they take that uh, emblem there, the Neptune, right there from uh, the town of Bologna. His brother was sort of a graf graphic artist for one of the time, one of the Maserati brothers. And uh, he came up with that logo. So forever more, it's been Maserati. They've gone through many owners. They were never profitable cars uh, in the early days. They never made money. They kept having to sell the company and sell the company. And, uh, you know, it was 22 years before Ferrari actually came onto the scene in 1948 because uh, Ferrari had signed a deal with Alfa Romeo that he couldn't build cars and there was no name for a certain amount of time. So 22 years later, Ferrari was making cars after Maserati came out, but they were winning races years and years before Ferrari. So this is a, an Italian car company with more racing history. And uh, you know, I think the, the understatedness of these cars, this is every bit as fast as a modern Ferrari. And they get it from this, what do they call it, a Neptune V6. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to drive one of these. But i um, very thrilled with my Maserati. I just got my uh, drive-by-wire system reworked at the factory, uh, the Formula Dynamics factory in Las Vegas, Nevada. Shout out to them. They basically make Maseratis quicker. I don't think they'll have any need to do it to this one, but... Um, who knows? I wonder how much this is, I'll ask. But uh, another car here that I really, really like. Not a big fan of SUVs, honestly. But this is almost like a station wagon. It's so low. The Lamborghini Urus. I mean, it's just it's just so ridiculously over the top to have a Lamborghini SUV. Um, they came out with the LMO02 back in the day. If you want to know everything you want to know about Lamborghini, please do check my uh, YouTube I have part one and part two of an interview with Valentino Balboni, Lamborghini's test driver, that I shot decades ago at the factory before they opened up the uh, Lamborghini Museum. So, uh, yeah, but Lamborghinis are awesome. And an, an SUV Lamborghini, look at that. The uh, 
Italian flag right there. I mean, just such detail. Uh, just a great car. Let's see how much they want for it, shall we? I know you want to know how much, right? Here we go. Let's see. Cha-cha-cha. Can I see? Mm. 340000 for a 21 Lamborghini Urus. Just walking around here. Gulf Coast Motor Works. Showing you every car. Aston Martin. Just reviewed my first Aston Martin. A DB9 V12 six-speed manual. Check that out elsewhere on YouTube. Uh, very cool. What can you say? You certainly do feel like James Bond when you're driving these. Uh, 125000 for a 15 Aston Martin V12 Vantage. It's got the V12. That's the most desirable engine, of course, in these. You're not shifting it yourself. But you don't care because it shifts quicker than you. No reason to be a manual transmission snob these days because it's just better than you are. Okay, now this crazy lifted uh, G-Series, G-Wagen, Galenda Wagon, uh, in a day glow, lime green, uh, yellow, awesome. <laughs> Why not? Carbon fiber accents running along the side. V8 and... Uh, we got $280,000 for a 17 Mercedes Benz. What are they calling it? A GL 550. Yeah, squared. There you go. The utmost luxury, of course. Get out here and show you some of the stuff out there later as well. Four by four by two, maybe. So cool. King of the Road used to be that only movie stars in Hollywood had these, but uh, you're starting to see them everywhere. They're still kind of hip vehicles. The Bronco came along, and everybody wanted a Bronco, but, you know, this is going to be uh, always desirable, honestly. All right. Another McLaren over here. This one looks good. It looks good in yellow. Hell of a wing on this one. I mean, it's just built for speed, huh? Nice. It's not a boat tail, though. Wow, that is awesome. Thanks for uh, following me there, somebody. Appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, that is just the speed tail. I think they call it. I don't, it's not a boat tail. Speed tail McLaren had another example at uh, Amelia Island. A couple of years ago. Last year, too, I think. Check out my coverage at Amelia Island and Pebble Beach. Concord Elegance from the uh, year before. But uh, this one's pretty cool. No price on this one. No price on the boat tail, either. Sorry, the uh, speed tail, they call it. But fly yellow. Very cool color. Some special colors uh, sometimes make these extremely desirable. This Ferrari is not very standard looking. Um, looks like it's got some custom coloring on it and options and things like that. Uh, right next to this uh, 599 GTB from 2007, $170,000 on this one. Got the Daytona seats that you originally saw on the Ferrari Daytona. Uh, but these are, to me, so yeah, this is Scuderia Ferrari. That's the racing team. That's what Enzo didn't want to sell to Ford. That's what caused the rift. And uh, Enzo did not care about the road cars. He just wanted to race. That's all he really cared about. Uh, he just built the road cars to sell so that he could afford to go racing. Luigi Cinetti, Cinetti, uh, he was the American representative, and he always got them to produce convertible versions for the Hollywood stars. And he did, and they drove them. The most famous stars of the day drove these Ferraris. And back then, you wanted a front-engine V12. That was what you wanted. Grand Touring Automobile. It was not about these mid-engine Ferraris like you see over here. Those came about later. 
Ferrari was late to adopt the technology. The Ferrari Dino, of course, mid-engine V6, but um, the LM was the first race car to be mid-engined, and it was called the Le Mans Ferrari, uh, and that came out in uh, the 60s. Even disc brakes, Ferrari did not want to adapt technology until it was proven, and so he waited. But uh, that's why these early Ferraris were front-engine V12 like these, and I'm glad they've gone back to this. With the Find 99, yeah, racing version here, the GTB, the you know 612, the, the Lusso, um, Ferrari FF, um, 812, they all are front-engine V12 cars, and uh, to me, very special. It's what I want, really. I test drove the Ferrari, uh, the new Roma, you can see a full driving review of that. Great sound in that car, but front engine V8, not as traditional as the 12-cylinder, but, you know, who who cares? <laughs> Four cylinders makes a difference, but not that much when you're talking about these new modern cars and how quick they are. So um, there you go. Lamborghini. Here we go. Show you the inside, too. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's a pumpkin patch. <laughs> a Halloween car. Looks good, though. Yeah. 2014 Aventadori LP700. 409.9. So 410, basically. Countach is uh, roughly based on this car. The new Countach. There's the old one. We'll get down to that one. Um, so there you go. Get up and get showing you these cars on down the line here. Yeah, looks great. Front and rear. Very cool. All right. Back to the STO. Let's concentrate on this bespoke purple uh, Ferrari California Portofino. Let's go. Let's go and see what it is. I mentioned Luigi Cinetti, and he was the distributor, and he's the one that really started making these uh, convertible cars, like the Portofino here, California before it, um, sort of the Daytona seats here, and uh, wow, I wonder if that's a, is it a wrap? Is it a wrap? Is it an original color? Tell me what you think in the comments. I'm going to find out the answer for you. But do you think this is a wrap, or do you think it was ordered like this in a special color? I will find out the answer. This is a wrap. This one here. <laughs> 2018, 8.12, super fast. N Largo two-door coupe. That's a wrap. Wrap, 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 wrap. Still very cool. Before GT and the anniversary Countach, like I said, Ferrari Enzo. I want to see the back of that. The purple Portofino is that a wrap or is that bespoke or what's? Is that a custom ordered color? Or? It's a custom ordered color. So yeah. Well, that's what uh... That's rare. That's okay. That's, that's enough. What's the... Codino uh... Metallic. Okay. Nice. And what about the uh, MC20? Is that brand new or is it used? Or... Brand new. Okay, cool. And what are those going for these days? We don't, we don't sell anything new except right. for Super Performance. Right. It was purchased new. Okay. Um, I believe right around 330, I think. Uh-huh. We don't have an advertising yeah, yeah. sale. It was actually purchased by Oh, gotcha. Right. Who wants to drive it a bit? So, yeah. I just, I was talking, when I was talking around that car, I just got my first Maserati, like, yeah, two years ago, a Spider, and I just love it. You know, more racing history than Ferrari, and more understated. It's it's just, that one's not understated, but <laughs> that's a nice color, though. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. The Dino, the new Dino. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the new Dino. All right. Thank you, sir. So he says it is an actual real color. Violetto. Look at that. 
It's awesome. 2018 488 Spider. And the MC20 is not for sale because, hey, the owner wants to drive it. Who can blame them? It's the newest, it's the newest thing on the block, you know. It's uh it's great. Wow. It'd be great to uh just be able to pick and choose and just drive any of these cars anytime you like, huh? Wouldn't it? Let me know what you think. Hope you like in this tour. I just gave you a similar tour of the Naples Cars and Coffee. That's my latest video, so check that out on my channel. Every car at the Naples Cars and Coffee. And uh, I'm showing you every car here, too. I'll go outside in a second. Almost done inside here. I like sports cars in white, you know. They just look good. Lamborghini, Countach's look good in white. This uh, STO Huracan looks awesome in white. And uh, this one here, white with red. I'd rather have blue interior, honestly. But uh, 458 Spider. Good looking cars. They didn't show you so much of the engine back then until the 488. And they kind of put it on display. <laughs> That's a nice picture. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Let's walk on outside, see what else we got here. Show you a better view of this uh, 328. One of the best looking cars. If you're uh, a Gen Xer, I think you're gonna love this thing. I'm sure uh, younger people like the uh, more racy lines of like the modern McLarens and things like that. But this is a, <laughs> this is one beautiful car. If you're curious, that's where you put right. the gas in. Your indicator will do right then. Um, beautiful H gate shifter. I do have a full driving review of the 308, which you can find. Uh, hey, thanks for smashing that like button. Do smash that like button and uh, subscribe. Helps other people learn about my channel. And uh, again, you can just Google Drive and Ivan in any car. Follow me on TikTok, the real Driving Ivan. Instagram is the same as my YouTube channel, Driving Ivan Cats. And then I put disc golf content and uh, other stuff on my Ivan Cats Productions site. Yeah. Beautiful. C8. I told you about the 488s, and they have the engine on display back here. There you go. So you can see the redheads of that engine. Thanks for hitting that like button. Appreciate it. C8, the first mid-engine Corvette with an Aston Martin behind it. Another Maserati Spider over there, Range Rover. Uh, what is that, Jack back there? 997 Porsche. I do have five Porsches, two 911s. I have a 996 Carrera 4 Cabriolet, all-wheel drive, and then an 82 Targa are my 911s. Love those cars. One of the most pure driving experiences ever is an air-cooled 911. It's no surprise that they're going up in value. ZL1, Camaro here. Let's see. How much? 78000 bucks. Why not? Another 911, 992, perhaps. They're getting so big. <laughs> if you were to put my 911 SC next to this, it would be kind of funny. They're a lot smaller. But I did just drive this on the track, and uh, it's no slouch. Don't, don't you worry. You can barely even see the engines anymore when you open them up in the back. But they are fine, fine cars. I'm going to show you this cool Miata over here, actually. It's uh, got to be owned by one of the uh, techs, from what I understand. I asked about it because it's really cool. Um, and uh, if you want to see a cool lifted Miata just like this one, you can check out Grievous Garage. He's one of my buddies on Instagram. He has a lifted Safari version of this same Miata, N.A. Miata. 
school 300 Z over there. Really nice cars. You could get those loose very easily. Definitely a driver's car. Not for the faint of heart. You got to know what you're doing for these things. Um, cool. Honda Civic over there. Maserati. And uh, that's a Ghibli. Here we have a Corvette. I think this might have been at the Naples Cars and Coffee. I'm not mistaken. This one's an interesting spec with the gray roof. 488, I believe. Uh, you can even see the reflection in the engine. Oh, they're very cool. Um, so there you have Super performance. Super performance dealer. Corvette dealer. Gulf Coast Motorworks. Just uh, north of Maples. Naples, Florida. Uh, it's like we're getting all the ambulances out here. And things over here is just uh, Ferrari, California. Um, well, maybe we'll we'll see if we can walk in here. Because they got some cool cars in here, too. Uh-oh. No, oh, they're locked up. But there you go. There's the service area in there. A lot of other cool cars in there. And uh, some really old stuff. Older Corvettes, C4 in there. Super performance, uh, kind of Cobras in there. And what else we got? Hard to see. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Great cars here at Gulf Coast. And uh, I believe I'll be back here this weekend, I think, for a uh, another car event, hopefully. So uh, until then, check out the Naples Cars and Coffee and all my other videos. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Smash that like button, please. And then... Uh, of course, check out my disc golf videos, literal video for Chris Isaac's Wicked Game, my Freer Mind music video with some of my car collection and all of my musical instrument collection. Not all of it, but a lot of it. And uh, also my disc golf videos. Great sport. You should be playing that. And I do also have a podcast. What Makes a Car Special by Drive and Ivan. And also Car Capers, where I tell you some interesting, crazy car stories. So. Uh, Check it out. Again, thanks for watching. Check out all my car videos. Just search Driving Ivan on YouTube and in car. And thanks for watching. I'm Driving Ivan.